In the beginning, there was an old system called 20 gauge. Patient had a problem. He had to be operated. But what is going to happen? Oh, don't worry. It won't hurt you much. I have designed special instruments for you. It won't hurt at all. This is a new laser I'm going to apply. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, it won't hurt you at all. Cases were complicated. They needed special instruments for special tasks. The surgery requires skills. Complicated, complex surgery. But, there was a boring thing, suturing, suturing, suturing the sclera, suturing the conjunctiva, suturing and suturing. A couple of million years after. Come in. We have developed a new system. The only thing is that this mesh are too flexible. Too weak. Too flexible. Don't worry. I'll try to operate you, but everything is moving. The eye is moving. And the instruments are flexible and small. How um, I'm going to operate? I'm going to have sea sickness. The eye is moving, the vitreous cutter is moving. Everything is shaking like the belly dance. And I cannot perform a number of procedures. Just the simple things. 25G. It is difficult to remove all those membranes with small instruments. Everything is moving. I cannot control the movements of the eye either. Everything is too weak and too flexible. But I don't need suturing. That is the advantage. And at the end... We have designed a perfect system, which gives us similarity in design and utility to 20 gauge. The system is less flexible than 25 G. Due to the uh, tunnel incisions there is a less frequent postoperative hypotony. The system offers advantages of a suturless system and the benefits of sturdier and larger instrumentation. It is easy to perform all procedures, including perfluorocarbon injection. Laser treatment. Gas exchange. We can use the vitreous cutter to come close to the proliferations and cut them and instruments are 
sturdier and larger we can use a silicon oil injection the system is called 23 gauge 